One of the most frequent questions that I received is, how do I perform a packaging validation? There is an ISO guidance document out there, 11607, that will help you get through those questions. It divides the tests into three categories, strength, integrity, and microbial barrier. For the strength tests, you are going to perform seal peel testing or burst testing. Seal peel testing uses a one inch segment of the seal and is pulled on a tensile machine. The results will give you pounds, per, pounds force per inch. The burst test is actually going to pop the package. The pressure that you receive is going to help you identify whether you're going to work with your EO sterilization. Those are the two tests for strength. Integrity consists of dye migration and bubble emission. Bubble emission is very similar to the burst, except it's performed underwater. We increase the pressure in the package, looking for bubbles coming from a single location. The dye migration test actually works by injecting dye into the center of the pouch and then letting the solution sit on the seal, on the inside of the seal. After about 10 seconds, you can see if there's any penetration through the seal, and that will allow you to determine whether it's a pass or fail. The final test is microbial barrier. Microbial barrier can be accomplished with two methods. There is the aerosol challenge, which is a whole package test, or the F1608 microbial ranking test. The microbial ranking test works by using a swatch of material, so it has to be porous and it's exposed to an aerosol of organisms, we're looking for penetration of these organisms through the material. This value is then turned into what's called a log reduction value, which is a percent efficiency. Using this value, it'll allow you to determine how good you are at keeping those microbes out of your package. The last test is a whole package aerosol challenge. It works basically by hanging a package into a chamber. We expose the package to a aerosol of organisms. After the exposure, we'll disinfect it and then um, examine the contents via sterility media, looking for penetration of the organism. By taking one of these tests out of each category, you'll easily meet what's required for the ISO standards. When you're looking at shelf life, you'll repeat the same test at the age to time points. With all of these tests, you'll complete an entire validation. <laughs> <laughs>